Hey friends, it's your girl Sin. I'm here next to my magenta tree. Uh, I love my Christmas tree this year. When it's real and it's pink, like what? It's pretty much a Christmas miracle because pink is not really my color. Pink and magenta, like you would never really see me rocking it, but I think it's really pretty and cute and I love it. <laughs> But today's video is going to be on scripting. So here's the thing, 2019 is almost done. I think we're like, what, two weeks away? And then we'll be welcoming in 2020. So in this video, we'll be talking about scripting. We wanna dive deep and share a journal entry that I did and kind of see what has happened for me and hopefully encourage you to get to scripting, to manifesting your dreams and creating the life that you wanna live because it's almost crazy how the things just start happening. <laughs> so here's the thing that I love about 2020. Year 2020, it doesn't matter if you don't have perfect vision, like physically with your eyes, it's really all about what you see up here. Do you see the goals that you want? You really wanna align yourself to the things that you want in your life. Scripting is a great way to start aligning yourself to that path. Scripting is just a form of visualization and I made another video where I go into detail about how I like to set the mood, set the tone for scripting, and here's the thing. The bells and whistles, you don't need all that stuff. You don't need the sage, you don't need the salt lamps, you don't need any of that. Really all you need is a piece of paper and pen. It's really that simple. And don't get distracted, don't feel like you need to get all that stuff because the reality is, you don't. What feels right to you? So if you feel like you need that extra stuff to get you in the mood of feeling blissful and feeling happy and excited, use it there's nothing wrong with it i know i like to use them sometimes i don't but most of the time i do because i think it just helps me kind of get into the zone you know, i'm going to go ahead and read you guys a script and and share what has happened thus far so let me get my journal because i don't have it on me okay so i think i'm going to start off with a entry from my job which is one of the first entries that I did. I started scripting in July of 2018, and like I said, we're reaching 2020. So here we are going back almost over a year ago now. Crazy. <laughs> okay, so I started my job on July 30th of 2018, and then this one that I'm gonna read to you guys was the one that I scripted on August 14th. So I'm gonna read it, and then I'll go over what has happened, and we'll go ahead and digest it. So. Here we go. Ooh, I'm nervous. <laughs> All right. I love my job. Blank is my home away from home. I'm recognized as an asset. I'm always getting awards and meeting tens on my surveys. Bonuses are always included. <laughs> um, I'm a role model. I'm the person people go to. I've made a large network of people and continue to meet many people. I make a lot of money here. <laughs> I'm able to live the life that I want at such a young age and I've grown in such a short amount of time. I'm so happy that I have a family here and that I'm surrounded around like-minded people. I am always executing my best work at team meetings. I'm set ex example and clients trust me and vouch for me about how helpful and amazing I am. Clients love me, all of my clients trust me, and I am the go-to for their answers. They know that I'm reliable, they know that I'm easy to work with. <clears throat> they fill out my surveys without me having to ask them. They recognize me for my service. They recognize me for the support that I provide to their small businesses. My promoter scores are always a 10. Uh, I get an overabundant amount of survey responses. I am blowing others out of the water with the amount of surveys I receive. My name is always being positively recognized. I kind of just hit those marks that were important for me. At my job, I mentioned, you know, it's, it's a very, I, I work with clients, so it's a very client focused scripting. I wanted to be able to build that connection with them more than anything because at the end of the day, I found value in going to work and connecting with people and making sure that their small businesses are in good hands because I'm here to help them. I'm here to help them succeed and set them up for all their business needs. So that's really the purpose behind when I used to script. And then I also used to really talk about just having a connection with good people. You spend 40 hours a week. So it's like, if you don't have a good support system there, or if you don't have a group of friends or coworkers that you can talk to and vent to, then 
those 40 hours are just not fun. So that was really what my intention was behind the scripting and talking about that is just crazy because I look back now and I've gotten a lot of survey responses so we actually get graded on the work that we do clients voice so they actually provide feedback and I actually have a really high response rate during the first quarter I got I was one of the top performers so that was pretty neat too and I've mentioned before but I scripted about always getting coffee and Starbucks is always offered to me so that's awesome I met some really great amazing people who I know are lifelong friends now and who I've traveled with so I can certainly say that scripting and what I wanted out of this job has happened. <sighs> like reading back onto that is just, it's so unreal to me how it, it, it happened. Like it happened. And the thing is like I never imagined myself doing the job that I was doing now because if you would have told me a couple years ago like hey you're going to learn this, I would have looked at you like... Mm, I don't think so. I this job too. I wanted to challenge myself and I did. I took this certification test and passed it. So that was so exciting. I, f I felt like part of the club when I passed. <laughs> Let me look back. Do I want to read another one? Do I want to read another one? Let me think. Let me look back into my journal and see if there's anything else that I would like to share. Maybe I can find one about something else. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You can really write about anything, whatever it is you want. So I will actually read another one. This is for love because of course your girl, you know, she's single. No ring on this finger. <laughs> so I'm gonna read another scripting and this is about love. And I did this one on February 10th of 2019. So this year and you know, February is a month of love and all that stuff. So I wrote about my ideal Valentine's Day. Here we go. <laughs> all right, here we go. <clears throat> so this Valentine's Day has been beautiful. My love surprised me like always. He always goes above and beyond. It is in his character. He sent me flowers that are so potent. The scent of the flowers are so, oh, <laughs> sorry, it's messed up. The scent of the flowers are so potent. They are gorgeous, white, and lively. He has given me the most gorgeous bouquet I've ever seen. The flowers are unique to my taste. That has always been something I have admired from him. He pays attention to me, to what I enjoy. He customizes gifts to my liking. He knows me very well. Along with the bouquet is a bag. I open the bag and see a beautiful gift. Again, he knows exactly my taste, my style, me. <laughs> I tear up as I feel his gift and take in its beauty. I'm so lucky to have found such a beautiful partner. Aside from the gift, he is my twin flame. Beautiful inside and out, he's just adorable. I grab him in no time to show him how much I love and adore him. He's so selfless always putting others first. He loves to give gifts. He is a lover. My heart. I think that's pretty good. So as you can see, it's really about aligning yourself to whatever it is that you want to have. Love, friendships, maybe just yourself, inner peace, inner love, family, whatever it is. It's just using your imagination and just going ham with your with your writing and the thing is that you have to be t detailed I wrote about what it would be like to have that attention from somebody who who wants to put me first or who wants to make me feel special who wants to see me be happy and who can recognize that I like to see that he is taking time to do something for me and who's attentive to me all those feelings is what I felt when I was scripting and that's what it's about. So what are you doing? Get to scripting. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'm hoping that everything comes to fruition for you. I'll see you guys soon.